All right, that's it. I'm taking the gloves off on this one. I've had enough. You guys need to start listening to me. FOIA. FOIA documents. What does that mean? That's an acronym for Freedom of Information Act. Okay? Everybody knows that act. We've heard it all in the news. Freedom of Information Act. Where you can go and find tons of information, what the government knows, that had to be released, and find everything that you need to know. Okay? FOIA.gov. You can find it. It's very simple. But, but keep in mind when you're doing these searches in here. You type in Fukushima. Okay? There, there's tons of stuff. There's tons of pages. you got to search. You can't just look at the first page and be done. Oh, the first page. Oh, it's good. It's be done. No, you have to search. Okay? Because they do it with malice. They do it legally, but they hide it. They, they make you work for it. And if you don't work for it, then you're not going to realize that there's an issue. See what I'm saying? You have to look for these documents. Okay. Now, I have some here on my phone that I, I screenshotted. Just a couple here. Because I only want to talk about a few things. Um, th this is a Fukushima video. Where this is about Fukushima. This is this is my radioactive rant. And, and I, I'm going to I'm gonna use that phrase. That's my phrase, radioactive rant. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm doing a radioactive rant. I also, uh, while I'm at it, I just made a new email address, uh, radioactive rant, rant, radioactive rant at hotmail.com. You can email me there, anything you want to email me, positive, negative, whatever you want to do. Okay, now, the, uh, let's see here. Let's see who did this. published on April 24th of 2014. Uh, I'll, I'll correct that. May May 6th of 2014 was when it was published. Okay. I found this in the FOIA documents. Okay. It's all, this is all real. Now, um, the Fukushima Daiichi Power Station released several radionuclides into the Pacific following the March 2011 earthquake and tsunami. A total of 20, let's see, 26 Pacific albacore, which are tuna, caught off the Pacific Northwest U.S. coast between 2008 and 2012 were analyzed for cesium-137 uh, and Fukushima attributed cesium-134. <clears throat> Both 2011, two of two, they, they caught two fish in 2011, and several, uh, 2012, 10 of 17, okay, they caught 17 in 2012, of the edible tissue samples exhibited increased activity concentrations of uh, cesium-137, which was in between 234 and 824 millibecquerel, millibecquerels per kilogram of wet weight, and 130 or cesium 134 was in between 18.2 and 356 millibecquerels per kilogram of wet weight. The remaining 2012 samples and all pre Fukushima 2008 and 2009 samples possessed lower 137 or cesium 137 activity concentrations. Now, get this pre, pre Fukushima, it was in between 103. 272 millibecquerels per kilogram of wet weight, with no detectable cesium-134 uh, activity whatsoever in them. Uh, the age, as indicated by Forklink, was a strong predictor of both the presence and concentrations of 134 cesium. Okay, now you got to keep in mind. Let, let, let me say those numbers again. Pre Fukushima. 137, cesium 137 was 103 to 272 millibecquerels per kilogram, okay? Post Fukushima was in between 234, which was just about the, low, the highest amount that they found pre Fukushima, 234 to 824 millibecquerels per kilogram, okay? I want you guys to understand there's a huge difference between 
internal exposure and external exposure. The inverse square law. I have a video on that. Um, states that, you know, it's all time. It's a formula that has to do with time and distance. And, and basically, the further the way and the less time you're around it, the less exposure you get. The closer you are and the more time you're around it, the more expo exposure you get. But that's external. When you get it internally, that totally deletes the distance. Totally deletes the distance. The distance is gone. And it doesn't. the time doesn't matter because you can never get away from it. You can never get away. It's internal. So the distance is gone. The time is gone. You can't get away from it. So that element, that radioactive element inside your body will continue to cause diseases and to cause cancer, to attack certain bones, to cert, uh, certain organs, uh, certain glands. You know, each one, each uh, transuranic, 211 known ones, um, they create, they, they attack different different uh, parts of your body. Now I want to get to, get, get to Fukushima. The uh, reactor building number four, there was a lot of a lot of issues with number four surrounding um, what's going on with the, the fuel pools they were trying to to uh, to get uh, a structure around it good enough to get a crane in there and pull out these these rods manually you know not done by computer now the reason why there was a huge issue at four because there was double the amount of spent fuel rods in reactor number four um, the reason they're not messing with one, two, or three is because they're they're complete meltdowns. They can't even get close to it. And number three, what they're what they were so scared of in number four happening, catching fire, zinc ox, uh, zinc oxide fire, uh, uranium uh, zirconium fire, um, happened in number three. The, it burned off the water and spent fuel in in spent fuel pools. And then it, it created this gas, this hydrogen gas that built up and finally exploded and sent five or six uh, core changes worth of spent fuel rods 360 degrees in the air and into the ocean. It landed everywhere. I mean, it made it down to little bitty bits and pieces. Down to full rods are scattered everywhere. You can see it in the pictures of, of number three. And that's the main issue at this place is they cannot get those rods back. They cannot get those elements back. And once they're out in the open, do you guys know the half-life of uranium, 238, 239, plutonium? I mean, we're talking, you know, 24,000 years for one. We're talking millions of years for another. I mean, it's, it's eternity, you might as well say. Okay, and we have to get away from this power. If this does not show us that this is the worst idea mankind has ever come up with, I don't know what will. I don't know what will. This is the worst possible thing that could have happened. I mean, it's right on the ocean. Right on the ocean. You guys have to research this stuff. I've been doing it for years now. For years. Um, I want to put a shout out for Miss Milky. Oh man, she's been she's been going through it. They've been uh, they've been attacking her YouTube. They've been trying to put strikes against her channel, and she's been trying to lately save all of her all of her uh, videos to something else. You know, trying to get people to help her save all of her, all of her videos. But if there's any uh, you know video editors out there that can put this stuff together and help you know record this stuff, get it backed up into files and, and somehow sent to her in an email or or sent to somebody in an email to where we can move this around. We need to get all this stuff backed up. Um, we can back up Miss Milky, Kevin Blanche, Dana Dernford especially. He's got so much so much information. We need to get him backed up. And uh, you know, Arnie, Arnie Gunterson, Helen Calicott, all these, you know, Chris Busby, um, Everything that, that, that is against nuclear power that shows the bad side of power that, you know, these companies don't want you to know. So if anybody can get a hold of me, um, 
Start spreading this. I need. We need more traction on this. This is not getting done. It simply is not getting done, guys. And we need help. If you can help me, I'd appreciate all your help. Um, please watch those people I named. Uh, Stronium Milks, especially. Oh, that they've been doing some great work. Great work. I don't know if you're a girl or a guy, but Stronium Milks um, has been doing fantastic work, especially trying to help Miss Milky. Um, he's, they got some really good presentations of late that you guys need to look into. Um, that's about all I have for my radioactive rant for today. Um, keep watching. I, not, I might get another video out today. Uh, if not, I'm going to try to get another one tomorrow. And I'm going to keep hammering at this. I'm going to try to get a video out every day like everybody else is doing. I mean, we we got to step this up. Step it up, guys. Thanks for watching. And watch for more nuclear fallout.